My name is Jerry Buss. Hi, this is Jeannie Buss of the Los Angeles Lakers. Dennis Murphy, minor league sports. Uh, Dennis Murphy uh, should have been written up by Damon Runyon. He was one of the true characters of uh, all the sportsmen I've ever met. Because you know Dennis, you know he's a he's he's a guy that's always on the go. He's always surrounded by people who will do anything for him because he's got that kind of personality that people wanted. Uh, you know, help him and be part of the dream. And, but there was one day where he had to send me a fax to my office and there was nobody left in his office and he didn't know how to use the fax machine. So I had to walk him through using the fax machine. So, okay, Dennis, put the, the piece of paper in the side, you know, and dial the number, push a button. And you know he's doing it, and he's like, you know, the paper starts going in. He's like, great, it's it's working, it's going, you know, we're all set. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh no, darn it, it's not working. And I go, what's wrong, Dennis? It's coming out the other side. <laughs> I had heard about a thing called World Team Tennis, and I was introduced to Dennis probably 1971 or 1972, right about there. And uh, we had a lunch together. And by the time I finished that meeting, I realized Dennis was perhaps the best salesman I had ever met. World Team Tennis was described by Dennis as a, uh, a fun adventure and possibly a very lucrative one. Uh, the sport was built for television, and uh, if we could only get the really high-priced uh, players to play, it probably would have enormous fan appeal. Almost You're serving to Billie Jean King of New York, her partner, Eli Nastasi, Billie Jean's partner, Ray Ruffles. I wanted to be a part of that, so I bought a World Team Tennis franchise. Uh, I'm a little surprised that uh, uh, having seen Dennis Murphy just a few minutes ago, that he didn't whip out one of his famous deals from his back pocket. I thought for sure that this uh, whole interview was nothing more than a scam because I thought Dennis was really trying to start another league. And to tell you the truth, I would have bought a franchise. I was kind of disappointed. I, I really wanted to get involved with Dennis Murphy once again. You know, I have a feeling that even today, if Dennis Murphy walked in to my dad and said, Jerry, I got a great idea, my dad would sit down, listen to it, and then turn it over to me to, to operate and execute. <laughs> so I guess we're just waiting for the next big thing. <laughs> Yeah, don't show, don't show him that. You're welcome.